Scientists make a breakthrough in cloning. Welcome to Digits, I'm Simon Constable, and we're joined now by our Wall Street Journal science correspondent, Galtham Nike, who is in London, and here he is, and there he is, to tell us all about it. Galtham, thanks for being there. What scientists have done is uh, another in a series of fascinating advances using cloning technology that's quite controversial and in some ways has taken a bit of a backseat to other approaches. The goal here is to make fresh tissue to transplant into patients and treat them. What these scientists have done is taken the skin cell from a 32-year-old diabetic woman and converted it into fresh tissue that produces insulin. The hope would be that this kind of tissue could be transplanted Planted back into the diabetic patient and it would replace her own insulin producing cells which no longer work. And, and Galtham, w w what is the advance here? Because that sounds great but th that's further than we've ever gone before, isn't it? That's right. A year ago, uh, or a little less than a year ago, uh, researchers reported that they had cloned a human being for the first time into an embryonic form. And from that, they'd extracted cells and made tissues. Then, just a week ago, another set of scientists reported that they had done this with adults as opposed to fetal or children's cells, which had been done last year. The latest experiment is a further step forward in that progression. Here's how it works. They take the skin cell and they put it into an egg, a human egg, that has its own DNA removed. And the DNA of the patient gets automatically and somewhat magically rebooted and converts into a small embryo, something with a clump of about 50 to 100 cells. From these 50 to 100 cells, these stem cells that can be converted to any other cells of the body, researchers could potentially make any cell in the body. So if you have a heart attack, you could transplant heart tissue made this way into the heart. In this case, what they've done is produce cells that would hopefully one day be able to treat diabetes by producing insulin in the body. And, and that is a huge problem, particularly here in, in the US. Now, this is somewhat controversial. Explain why. Well, there are various approaches to making tissues. One of the first that was ever attempted was to take tissues or take stem cells from embryos. These are embryos that are left over or surplus in fertility clinics and they're created through usual IVF methods using sperm and egg. Uh, there's a huge amount of uh, you know ethical controversy surrounding that because a lot of people believe that's tantamount to destroying a life. The use of cloning is also controversial because after all if you're able to clone something for a medical purpose it is possible, although not so easy, to tweak this technology and perhaps do reproductive cloning. And if someone were crazy enough to try this, you'd be able to create a clone of an actual person if you took this clump of cells and implanted it into a womb, uh, in, into a human womb. Uh, most countries and most people would find that terrible to do, but it does open that possibility up. There is a third way, which seems to have almost no controversy attached to it, whereby you can introduce genes into a skin cell, say, and convert it into an embryonic-like state. Uh, this kind of research won a Nobel Prize uh, a couple of years ago, so that also has a great deal of promise. So with the exception of the third type, the first two do have controversies attached to them. Okay, and I'm sure we'll be hearing about this for a long time. Thank you very much, Gatham Nike. We appreciate your time, sir. My pleasure. Thank you. And you can find more on this on WSJ.com. I'm Simon Constable, and that's it.